Welcome to the Building Doctor Show with Jens Johansson. So there's lots of lots of posts. That makes me a little nervous. The four by four posts. Which ones? Well, that's what we're doing for the, the bracing in case until we can get to pull this stack apart. A couple of years ago, we noticed that the, uh, these decks had a lot of deterioration on beams. And when we took one apart to our shock and amazement, we discovered that was, was supporting that end of the deck inside that storage closet with just a couple of stud grade two by fours that had been getting wet over the years. And you couldn't always tell externally how bad the problem was. So we think we've gotten the most rotted ones done, but out of an abundance of caution, we call it posting them up. We mm -hmm. stuck a four by four under there, painted it to match the building, and it lets us sleep at night. Right. Yep, that's called temporary shoring. Uh, it's where your, your beam will come into the wall and sit in a beam pocket and it, that's a pretty common area for mm -hmm. deterioration to happen. And so you're putting the building on crutches, adding a couple of, couple of things, yep, and yeah. it's, it's helping you hold things up. But it's, it, it should be investigated and figured out, pull off, pull off some siding and we're, see how bad it is. We're doing three uh, complete storage closet and deck yeah. rebuilds, pull them apart, see how they are, fix whatever we mm -hmm. have to okay. um, every year until we're done. And we've got the ones that looked scary done. Right? Okay, you know, so you years prioritize ago. things. Yep. Yeah, yep. okay. I'm glad you have this on here or some yeah. kind of attachment. So there's positive attachment. And you'll see a lot of different um, interpretations of what the deck should be rebuilt as. There's okay. probably been six companies in the life of the association that have done things. Yep. And as we are rebuilding them, we're bringing them to code with the right height for the upper fence, et cetera, et cetera. And that's part of the storage closet stack rebuild. Everyone seems to be somewhat different. Okay. So we take them apart. We learn a little more each time, you know, hey. Um, and then we put it back together again correctly. Yeah. And we put, you know, a uh, building wrap on it because this has just got what I call the roofing paper in the corners. And it's exterior jip underneath it. Kaka. That's all bad condition. <laughs> Hi. Hi. I'm Jens. I'm Norma. Norma, nice to meet you. Hey, yeah, you made it. She's on the board too. Yeah, great. So, so um, we're just walking around looking at the building. Yep. So here's here's a project we're working on right now. Um, this staircase was trying its best to detach from the landing. Bad thing. Yeah. Bad thing. We've replaced the stairs. While we were working on it, we put this temporary shoring, which we decided, hey, let's leave that there. Can't hurt. So they made it, we made it pretty and put some siding on it. That's standing on some concrete. And so this is all new. This is all brand new. Yeah. Um, we are, when we do one of these, we replace all the concrete treads. Mm -hmm. So we don't have a mismatch. The other thing, we have two buildings like this uh, where they've got a walkway on the parking lot end. We didn't like the cantilever nature of this. So we so yeah, put posting, we, we posted them up. Yeah. Our favorite thing also. So it was originally a cantilever deck mm -hmm. and it was probably sagging where this was attached. Or uh, a lot coming, of moisture intrusion at the joint. Yeah. It started okay. to rot apart. As I okay. recall, we probably had beam rot going to about here. It was really scary looking. And we said, we got, we got to take this apart and fix it. Yeah. Plus we had some carpenter ants this summer that were enjoying it. Uh, it was a nice feast. Mm -hmm. So we just said, we're gonna take this whole thing apart, find out what's going on, build it back better. Great. So this, upper landing. The homeowners downstairs pointed out that we had carpenter ant frass all under here. This was the first one that we discovered a problem with. And we've never taken this part of the building apart before. Okay. So, so we decided, guess what? We're going to do three of these next year, mm -hmm. figure out a plan, eventually do all of them. And in the meantime, 
four by four. So this is all part of your temporary this is shoring. Temporary shoring. So this piece as well. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah, this one was was pretty bad. The uh, behind the tow kick on the stairs, uh, the carpenter ants had eaten halfway through the beam. So this is a work in in progress. If you have any suggestions or ideas on what we'll find in here, that we would greatly appreciate. Yeah, your stair stringers look soft. They're all getting new. Yeah, so they're going to be yeah, replaced. Is there a better solution for? coating these decks than coating the decks because I'm concerned that with the cure time, people will lose access to their unit right. yeah. for a couple of days. Is anybody so we, using something better? Yeah, so we, you, can, you can coat the decks and we actually have a elevated, think about a plywood walkway on pegs. And mm -hmm. so you can have two or three legs, if you will. So you can coat it, then you just have the leg marks and they can pass on one half or pass on the other half, and you can kind of do a half coat and a half coat, um, and so they can still get access to their unit. We, we were not sure how to proceed, and we figured instead of making a huge mess, we would focus on things that were dire emergencies. And so it's typically a two coat or three coat process, and mm -hmm. so we can do those first two coats, put that platform down, that whole coating system can get 48 hours to dry, except for those little pegs, mm -hmm. and then they can pull it real fast, do the last coat, maybe, you know, with some more coordination, like on a Saturday and people can stay in and that's worked real well. So any of the leaks that you're seeing or that you've experienced are coming from bad transitions of the coating. So where it meets the wall, pull, pull a row of siding so you can go up the wall, pull the corner so you can go up the corner, even think about pulling the door so you can go into the door threshold. Mm -hmm. Those are all the places we see leak, especially at the stair edge where it comes up and meets the, it'll, it'll leak right there. And so get it coated well, then put the stair back. Waterproof coating should work just fine as long as it's getting coated correctly, but let's take a peek. This almost looks like it was maybe some kind of membrane before. This has had what you see ever since I've been around the property for now 16 years. So obviously this isn't watertight. This isn't mm -mm. watertight. You know, so this is, so I'd expect to see water damage. A transition strip's nailed on here to protect it, but. It was actually uh, coming up. It was completely loose. So we put that aluminum strip on there uh, to make it a little bit safer until we can fix it. Yep, yep, good. Temporary.